Welcome to the Yeshiva University Library's instructional video series. I'm Wendy Kosakoff, Public Services and Outreach Librarian at the Pollock Library. This screencast will explain how to do a general search for items in our libraries. You will see how to search via UFIND or YUFIND, how to limit your results, and how to obtain the items you want. For all library research at Yeshiva University, you should always begin at the library homepage, library.yu.edu. To access articles at home, you'll be prompted to log in with your YUAD, also known as your Yeshiva University Active Directory login. At the center of the library homepage, you will see several tabs. The first one, you find allows you to search the library catalog as well as many but not all databases and electronic resources simultaneously. Let's assume you're researching mindfulness and youth. To search, click on the UFIND tab and type your keywords into the search box. And click on the search icon. Library searches use keywords and not full sentences the way Google does. This search has garnered more than 35,000 results. The first thing you may want to do is limit these results. It might be a good idea to begin by limiting the results by date to allow you to get more current materials. To do that, I scroll down until I see the publication date slider and I will slide it over to make it more current to say 2009. When I let go it automatically updates. Some articles may not be specific enough to your topic. If you scroll down you will see the limit by subject toolbar option which will help apply a more specific subject term to your search. Here I am choosing mindfulness. And when I click on it, it updates once again. If I only want articles, I can choose articles only by clicking here. Let's click on a title to see a more detailed record of the book, of, the, of your choice. So I'm choosing this article, and I'm going to click on it. And the first thing I want to do is take a look at the abstract, or the summary of the article. This gives me a chance to see if the article is appropriate to the research I'm doing without having to read the entire article. Assuming this is the right article for me, I have a few things I can do. I can save it to my Google Drive. I can print the article. I can save it to my computer. And most importantly, I can get the citation that I will need for this article. When you click on Cite, you can then pull up the APA citation here. Be aware that the citation may not be in perfectly correct format. It may need to be tweaked later, but be sure to get it now so you will have it when you complete your paper. Of course, if you don't use the article, you will not need the citation. You can copy and paste it into a document, or you can save it into a citation manager such as RefWorks or EndNote by clicking here. To get the full text of the article, click PDF Full Text and then save it to your computer. Thank you for watching our instructional video. If you need assistance, click on the Ask Us tab at the top of the page for ways to contact a, libra a librarian. We are always happy to help.